The door slammed, and B caught up to Tall Man. They walked inside together. I want to show you something that you may have never seen before. Or maybe you thought we had the technology but just never thought it was a reality. Jack kept talking as they walked up to the second floor. I'm not sure what you mean. Something our government does? Yes. After 9-11, we were given much more power to surveil citizens for any reason. Or should I say, for no reason at all. She supposed the inside reminded her of a prison too. Especially those metal lunch trays they serve the processed food and slop on. Betty and Sylvia looked out over the field house at the parking lot full of orange buses. Peanuts and soda cans littered the green grass from the previous night's game. Sylvia pulled a can of Black Label out of her backpack. Sylvia, where did you get that? Betty looked at her like someone just set off a firecracker next to her. Sylvia pulled the ring on the cylinder-shaped can. The tab created a triangle-shaped opening. I stole it from my daddy's basement fridge. Sylvia took a huge gulp and handed the beer to Betty. Do you ever wonder what will happen to us? I mean, after school. What do you want to do when you get out of this place? Betty asked. Well, I sure as fuck will be moving out of my dad's house in this town. Sylvia was still bitter about years of her dad's verbal abuse. She pulled a joint out of her purse and held it up to the Zippo lighter that had her old man's initials engraved on the matte silver front. 